Just a quick PSA before we get into this video, I do want to let you know that firstly, it is sponsored by GHD, and secondly, there is 20% off over on their website for this weekend only with this code right here. So if you are interested, then make sure you check it out because it's for this weekend only. Hey everyone, happy Saturday and welcome to today's video. So today, I just thought it'd be really nice if we sat down, we chilled out. I'm gonna go through these, some of the lockdown hairstyles that I've been gravitating towards. I thought we'd do some Q and A kind of questions. Just have a really chill chat. In like the first kind of, gosh, maybe like two, three weeks of lockdown, I really didn't do much with like myself, with like my hair, my makeup, things like that. And it's kind of got to the point where it's like, I don't have an excuse anymore. You know, like this is life how it is now so I need to make an effort I need to make myself feel good I need to get ready for the day and all things like that so that is what I'm making an effort to do uh, I do have my tea oh my gosh I don't know if I'm gonna be able to spin you around and really like the camera's actually quite far away but I have my pot of tea here which is absolutely hilarious this is like my idea of a great time so I'm gonna pour myself a cup of tea and then we can just chill and I'm going to do my hair with you today and catch you up on some things. So pre-lockdown, I was on a bit of a hair journey. I was having a real kind of time with my hair where it always seemed to be greasy. It wasn't doing as it was told. It never looked right. I always had those little kind of sticky up bits at the top and it was just a bit of a nightmare and it didn't make me want to do anything with it. So I actually realized the thing that I was doing wrong is I was letting it air dry and it was just taking way too long to air dry. Therefore it was getting really oily at the roots and that was basically the root of my problem. And for my birthday, I got the GHD Helios. I love this. I think this is absolutely brilliant. And this has been such a game changer for me over the course of, I guess, the last two months. I can't believe my birthday was two months ago. But it's made drying my hair so quick, so easy, and not puffy. So my hair routine, whenever I let it air dry, like it, the reason I air dry is because my hair didn't go puffy. Whereas if I use a hair dryer, it would generally go a bit puffy. So it would always be like a two step hair routine. So I'd have to hair dry it and then straighten it. But with this, I don't actually have to. So I'm gonna dry my hair and then we'll get to styling it. I'm gonna do a couple of different styles today purely because I get asked a ton about different ones. Firstly, I'm gonna show you how I curl with my straighteners because all I have with me right now is straighteners. All I travel with is straighteners. And I'm gonna show you my kind of mermaid kind of hair that I love to do. But first, we need to dry my hair, so I'm going to get on with that. Both the hair dryer and straighteners that I'm using today are from the Upbeat Collection. This hair dryer is in the shade Neo Mint, which is just the gorgeous minty greeny color. But apart from looking pretty, Helios has a lot to offer. So it dries your hair faster, it gives your hair more shine. I mean, it's a firm favorite with kind of professionals, hairdressers, because of the frizz-free finish, which is why I love it. You'll have heard me raving about it on vlogs and on my Insta stories. And it's just that kind of frizz-free finish, the smoothness that I love. And a lot of that's down to the focused airflow, so it gives you more control when styling it. Also to note, it's got three temperature settings. You're advised to start on the cooler setting and then only up the temperature as your hair begins to dry. And that is how you get your frizz-free finish. So to put that into perspective, that took two minutes. I know. So I've actually been drying my hair into a middle parting recently. I just, I don't know, do you know what? I never used to do that. And now it's like my dumb thing. I'm really enjoying it. But it's just how it kind of goes now, which is, we like that, that's good. So this is how my hair is straight after using the Helios hair dryer. I don't have any product on it, anything. I literally shampoo, conditioned it washed it all out and I got out of the shower, towel dried it and then I put my makeup on which probably took me 10 minutes. So it was sat for 10 minutes which is longer than I would usually use it but obviously I wanted to look presentable for you. And then I've just hair dried it and this is how we are looking. Now, if you have watched my videos before or you follow me, you'll notice that my hair has grown a lot over the last few months. Like my hair was not this long. I think this might be the longest it's ever been. So all these hairstyles still work on long hair. My hair is pretty heavy. And I know some people seem to think that like curling your hair with straighteners when you've got long heavy hair just doesn't work, but it does. It really, really does. It's just the technique you use. So I'm gonna start by showing you how I actually curl my hair with my straighteners. Oh, I can't get over how smooth this is. Oh, I love it. 
So let me grab my straighteners. And I'm gonna get some clips because I don't generally use clips when I do this, but I know some of you will be like freaking out that Emily, it's not gonna work, it's gonna fall out. I need to like put it in clips until it's cold. So we're going with that today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna humor everyone that's freaking out, but trust me, if you try it without, it will still work. These are the clips that I recommend if you're going to use any. These are just from Amazon, I will link them down below. And they are anti-kink ones, so you're not gonna get any marks, anything like that. And then straightener wise, I'm going to be using the JHD Platinum Plus. These are my favorites, they are my absolute go-to, and I love this particular color. Now, I do just wanna let you know, if you didn't hear at the start of the video, I do have a 20% code that is running on GHD this weekend only for 20% off. I'll pop it on the screen for you. It is 20% off the whole website. This is so rare, this like rarely ever happens on GHD. So if you have your eye on anything, then make sure you go over there and check it out this weekend because 20% is a big saving. So before we actually get into doing the style, I just want to give you a couple of tips if you do want to grow your hair longer or if you have long hair and you want to preserve it. So I don't find heat damages my hair because I take care of it when I use heat. So I've just put some heat protectant on. Something that I will absolutely never ever do is use heat on my hair when my hair is still damp. So I will wait until my hair is completely bone dry or I will like hair dry it until it's completely dry before I start straightening, curling, anything like that. That is a massive one. And generally when I use these, my style lasts two, three days. So I'm not using heat on my hair every, every day. So I'm more than happy to kind of go about it. It's like what I do is I wash my hair, on like day one, I have a style that will last two or three days and then on maybe the third or fourth day, I will do braids, I'll do kind of two braids and then I will wash my hair the next day. I'm trying to leave my hair as long as possible between washes because it's just thriving from it. So that is what I'm kind of doing at the moment. I know I get a ton of questions. I don't take any supplements or anything for my hair at the moment. I just make sure I drink a ton of water and I'm just very, like I'm using my common sense, do you know what I mean? Don't put something with heat on wet hair, you just, just don't do it. So yeah, let's start with me showing you how I curl my hair because this is literally the most simple thing but I feel like no one uses their straighteners to curl their hair and it still baffles me to this day. So I'm gonna start by showing you the technique and then I'm gonna show you how I kind of go about it because I don't section all my hair and curl all my hair because it's just such a waste of time. You really don't need to. So I grab a strand of hair. Now, what I would say is if you're starting out with this and you're not really used to curling your hair with straighteners, just get a smaller bit to start off with, play around with it. You can do bigger pieces, but it all depends on your hair type. So I grab my curlers, my piece of hair, and I clamp it at the top. And as I'm going down, I twist. And the hair will kind of stick out the bottom, and I keep twisting, make sure the hair doesn't kind of fall out. And I just kind of keep going. And this, for me, is the easiest technique for curling my hair. You get an even curl all the way down. Now, if you want to clip it, you can gra grab one of your non-kink clips and kind of, you see, if you want. I mean, I don't generally do this because I don't need to. I find it holds really, really well. But let me show you that one more time. It is the most simple thing. It's just twisting the straightener as you go down. Like once this clicks for you, you'll be like, oh my gosh, how have I not been doing this? So you grab the straightener at the top, you twist, and it's all about looking where this kind of tail is. So you keep twisting, and then you throw the tail over. I mean, if your hair does kind of fall out really quickly, I mean mine does, but I don't necessarily do this step every time, then you can kind of pull it up on your straightener, like that, and then pop your clip in if you want it to last for longer, but I'm telling you, you genuinely don't need to do this. They are just the most kind of easy, bouncy. I like to leave a little bit at the end because I think that's just a really cute look. I like a little straight bit at the end, but obviously you don't have to do that. But that is how easy it is. You are just twisting and focusing on like where the end of your hair is, not what's kind of in the straightener at the moment. So how I actually curl my hair, I feel like this is the same trick as people put it, the hair in a ponytail and just curl the ponytail. What I do, I will curl this bottom section. So I will kind of curl the top bit, whatever, like all this over top bit, throw it over my shoulder, and then I curl this front bit that comes under here. So any of the bits that you're not going to see at the front of my hair, I don't bother to curl. So I will curl all along the top, pulling out all these bits, this bit, this bit, and then it will look pretty full, but then you just have random straight bits at the front. So I curl these bottom bits, 
and then you have a full head of curls. The curling tutorial over, now I'm gonna show you how I do my fun mermaid hair. This is like my go-to at the moment because it is so quick, so easy, and this lasts for like until you wash your hair again. I did this when I went to Australia, this is when it all started. I don't know who I saw do it. I think I kind of just wanted like the salty, beachy hair look and started doing this and it genuinely lasts me from wash to wash so my all my australia pictures are me with this kind of wavy hair look because it was just so easy so when it comes to this i like to start at the back because i can just throw the done one over and it's really easy to see what i've done what i haven't and i do actually section the top section off for this i'm not the type of person that's so specific with my hair where i tend to section however this is one of those looks where you can really see if you've missed any so i like to put a section up at the top just so i know at the end i have the top section that i know i can go over and hide any imperfections and make sure all that is done perfectly so i grab a section you can do larger sections with this i like to do kind of bigger ones and smaller ones and i grab my straightness i pop it on and I clamp it and I twist 180 and then we go back and I twist 180 the other way and then 180 that way 180 this way and I like to leave a little bit at the bottom just because I really like that look so can you see it's just a really loose wave you can do them tighter if you want to and do kind of more dramatic kind of twists but I actually really like this look of a loose kind of bouncy mermaidy curl like you can go all the way over like this if you want to I'll show you how this looks and it ends up being whatever it is and I always really like how it turns out and I'm a big big fan of having a bit of volume can you see so you can do them more kind of dramatic so they're crazier but it's quite nice to have a bit of a mix and I just go over and do my whole head like this. This does take a bit longer than like curling my head of hair, which you would think this would probably be quicker because it's more simple, I guess, to some people. But because I'm kind of being really careful with it and making sure that, you know, I'm clamping it and twisting it, it does take a bit longer, but it's so worth it because the final look is just absolutely gorgeous. Especially if you've got a bit of sea salt spray, if you pop that in, oh my goodness. And then I'm moving on to the top bit here. So the reason that I'm so precise with the top is because you can then hide any imperfections down below. So what I like to do is the hair that I've saved up the top, I'll throw the rest out the back and then it's time to focus and not get this wrong. <laughs> it's not that tricky. without any kind of styling, I've not played around with it, brushed it or anything like that. You do really get into a rhythm with it and get through it really, really quickly. So I'm gonna go and finish off the other side and then I like to kind of touch up any bits I feel like need a bit more kind of wave to them. So this is how it looks with no product in, anything like that. I am gonna pop in some hairspray. I just adore this hairstyle so much. This was gonna be like my go-to Coachella look when obviously it got cancelled. But this, imagine this with some kind of hair jewellery or like a gorgeous silk hair scarf, something like that. It is just the easiest. You can do these kind of away from your face or you can do them into your face. I quite like the look of having them kind of over my face. I just really like it. I had so many questions about this hairstyle when I did it on a picture on Instagram the other day. I was in like a bikini. I had this really cool boxy surfer top on on the beach and it's just such a versatile look. You can look the kind of like surfer skater kind of vibe or it just looks kind of mermaidy. You can run like a wide tooth comb through this if you want or like a kind of wider brush but I quite like having it a little bit crazy but if you do want it softer you can do that. 
but I really hope you've enjoyed kind of this little hair catch up, what I've been doing throughout lockdown with it. If you did enjoy it, please do give us a massive thumbs up and don't forget about the 20% off over at GHG. That is such a rare occurrence and it is for this weekend only. So I will link that down below in the description box. I'll link the website and yeah, I'm really grateful that they sponsored today's video. It's so amazing to work with one of my favorite brands in the whole entire world. I use their products every single day. So it's really exciting for me. Thank you so, so much for tuning in and watching and I will see you next week. Bye.